Internet safety for everyone. A quick and easy crash course. But I already know how to use the internet. You use the internet every day and nothing bad has happened so far. So you must know all about the internet safety, right? Wrong. Even experienced internet users unwittingly do things online that put them at risk. Internet-based crime can happen to anyone. If you're not aware of internet safety, you might be at risk of infecting your computer with a virus, allowing unknown persons to access your personal data, passwords, which may enable them to commit identity theft, being harassed or bullied online, revealing personal details about your location, financial situation, and identity might allow someone to target you for a real world crime, being tricked into giving away money or personal information. Things you might not know about internet safety. Studies estimate that up to 48% of American computers are infected with malware, which is an intentionally malicious program or code. As many as 10 million Americans are affected by identity theft, one of the biggest dangers on the internet every year. Only 38 to 48% of victims of identity theft learn that they're being victimized within four months of the theft beginning. This means that by the time most people realize what's going on, major damage has already been done. Of the internet fraud cases reported to the FBI in 2009, only 38% of the victims knew the perpetrator's state of residence, making most wrongdoers very hard to track down. Okay, okay, I believe you. So what can I do? Well, don't freak out. There are several easy steps you can take to protect yourself online. Always keep personal safety in mind. Taking certain precautions and adopting safe habits can go a long way toward protecting you from personal harm. Guard your personal information. Never respond to an email asking for any password or account numbers, even if they seem to come from a trusted source. Before revealing personal details, like your full name or your home address, ask yourself if it's really necessary to share that information. Use privacy filters and settings on social networking sites to limit the amount of information you share with strangers. Browse cautiously. Before you enter a username and password into a site, double check the web address to make sure you're at the correct site and not an imitator. The most popular browsers offer tools and settings to help protect you from bad sites. Update your browser frequently and avoid sites it deems unsafe. Download only from trusted sites. Malware is often disguised as innocent programs or files. Download from a site you know and trust or use the, sort, or the search tool at download.cnet.com to search for downloads that may have been verified as safe. Save the files you download instead of running them. This gives your computer more of a chance to verify that downloads are safe. Read the privacy and licensing agreement. It's a pain, we know. But if you don't read the fine print, you may be unintentionally agreeing to install spyware and adware to your computer. But what about my computer? Isn't it at risk too? Computers have the potential to be subject to a number of attacks, including viruses, worms, and spyware. Sound scary? Don't worry. You can keep your computer safe with a few simple precautions and regular maintenance. What protection do I need? The best defense against internet threats is good antivirus software. Antivirus software can protect you from infected email attachments, corrupt websites, internet worm viruses, spyware, and more. Here's what to look for in an antivirus program. Antivirus specifically protects against viruses. Anti-spyware protects against malicious software that may be gathering your information without your knowledge. Firewalls screen out threats that try to reach your computer over the internet. Things to consider before you buy. Investigate your computer. Some computers come with security software, but you may need to subscribe to it after a trial period. Windows 7 and Mac OS already have built-in firewalls. Make sure to turn them on. Free versus paid premium software. 
there are a number of free antivirus programs that can offer an adequate amount of protection. However, many free antivirus programs don't include technical support and may have a limited function and updating cap capabilities. Well, is that all? Well, no, not really. One of the great things about the internet is that it's constantly changing. This has its downsides though. With new content, applications, and technology come viruses, scams, and risks. Luckily, there's an abundance of sites and programs that help keep you safe and up to date. So here are some more resources. A free internet safety tutorial presented by gcflearnfree.org, wiredsafety.org, an extensive global resource on internet safety, strongpasswordgenerator.com, a tool to help you create stronger passwords, on guardonline.gov, a comprehensive internet safety resource maintained by the Federal Trade Commission.